This is a review for the InnoGear Boom Arm. You can get this on Amazon under product listing, heavy duty mic arm, microphone stand, suspension, scissor boom stands with mic clip and cable ties for Blue Yeti Snowball and Blue Yeti Nano. <sighs> okay, so it sounds like the mic attachment was designed with a specific mic in mind, but that doesn't mean you can't use it with other mics. I am in fact using it with my NZXT capsule at this moment. Although one big note I want to share immediately is that you may have to buy an adapter to fit your mic. The threaded silver end of the mic attachment point is 5 8 inch male thread. So in order to plug and play straight out of the box, you need a mic with a 5 8 inch female thread. It turns out the NZXT capsule has a 1 4 inch or 4 8 female thread. So I had to buy an adapter. These thread adapters are really cheap and abundant on Amazon, so I bought like a four pack for later, in case I lose one somehow. Also, you might be interested in getting an assortment in case you ever wind up with, for example, a 3 8 inch mic and want to mount that as well. With that major caveat out of the way, I want to come out and say I recommend this product. I purchased the medium size, which comes in under 50 USD. The performance I'm getting for that price point is well worth it for me. I'm a casual YouTuber, gamer, etc. And the convenience of not having to lean over to be close to my good microphone is just incredible. Are there better boom arms out there on the market? Absolutely. But as an entry level product of good build quality that should last the casual user a long time and be decently flexible, I definitely recommend InnoGear. So you start off by clamping the thing to your desk. I have an old wooden desk, which I don't mind messing up anyway, but I don't imagine this clamp will damage your table. There's a wide circular piece on the bottom that squeezes with a padded rectangular portion on the top side. There is a convenient lever for you to tighten and periodically retighten with ease. Overall, the stand has five total points of rotation. The arm itself is actually an entirely separate piece from the clamp, which you place inside the port on the top of the clamp. It will stand freely under its own gravity. You then crank the wing nut on the side in order to restrict the ease of rotation. This will probably be the most common axis of movement because for me it's what I use to swing the mic back and forth out of my way depending on whether or not I'm using it. Then there are three disc type joints. These are very stiff, which you want, as you're going to use these to position the mic at the exact distance and height that you need to reach your face. Depending on where you have it mounted, you may need to expand and contract these every time you bust out the mic. But like I said, I was able to find a setup where I didn't need to. The less you can use these, the longer your mic arm will remain rigid and sturdy. And the final point of rotation is the metal rod on the end that holds the mic. There is another wing nut that controls the stiffness of this joint, and I tend to just lock this in place once I've got it positioned as I like. If you look at the product page, there are also some elastic straps that I don't picture in the video. These are totally optional and you can use them for extra support. For example, if you have the arm stretched out really far all the time and you want some extra stability, they can really come in handy. Anyway, I'm running out of breath and I think that's all there is to say. I'm trying to keep the video concise while also informative. So please like and comment with any questions. I'm happy to help. Let me know if there are any ways I can improve these videos. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.